was an alligator. My friends, that right there is an alligator. That's an alligator in our pond. And we have all of our cows and our calves drinking from this pond. Our dogs are swimming in this water and there's an alligator, dang it. All right, so today I separated Carl out of this pasture because I have to get inside here and work on replacing that piece of corral board right there. It's a, uh, I don't know how, but uh, somehow it has broken off. So I'll have to remove the staple from that post. Actually, I'll have to remove the staple from all three of those get the old pieces out of there and then cut me a new one to fit I hope I have paint a stain I think I do so I want to show you guys what we've been doing to keep water in our pond and I I do think that as it gets warmer our temperatures our efforts are going to be in vain because we've been running water for the last 24 hours Ever since the guy left yesterday, we keep a trickle going here into the pond. It doesn't run all the time, but we let it run for a little bit and we turn it off, let it run and turn it off. But I would say for the last month or so, it's kept our pond pretty full. But now you can see here from around the edges, you can see that much where we've lost probably 12 inches of water. You can see here a little bit easier over the last week or so yeah over the last week or so we've lost that much water and it's only i think because it's been so i don't want to say hot it's not been hot but it's been a lot hotter than normal for uh february slash march and so our well our water well is big enough and strong enough and it has an automatic cutoff to where if this ends up overheating our well it'll shut it off so we're not worried about running the well, burning the well, but we can't run this the entire summer, obviously. So we do have a pond leak and I'll show you where the pond leaks at over here. Now, you all know that we've tried to patch it with a, a, a chemical agent we bought that will sort of like gum it up. That did not work. We, uh, we tried a couple of those buckets of that stuff, 
But uh, what happens is the water is somewhere filtering through the wall of our spillway. Oh, there's some trash I need to get out of there. But water is somehow coming through the wall of our spillway. And you can see over here on this side, I'm gonna kind of zoom in. I don't wanna walk down there, but it's right there around that green grass is where it's coming out of the ground. And it's running right down to the creek which goes right down to the river. So all of my efforts here, trying to keep the pond with water, I know are in vain. And you might say, that's just a waste of water. That's just a waste of water. I, I kind of get it. I get it where it's a waste of water and it's a waste of electricity. It's putting strain on our water well. But my biggest fear, and I hate to have to live in fear, That's Sadie, who's barking. You hear her, and you can see her off in the distance under the magnolia tree. And she's just staring off into space, barking. Um, but my biggest fear is that we go through another drought like we did last year and the year before that. And it's one thing when you start losing all of your grass, but we lost our pond last year also. You guys remember how the pond went down to just nothing. And that meant we had no water. Well, I mean, we always have our fresh water, thank God. But horses like to bathe. They like to walk into the water. We've seen them even this year already into the water, which is really cute. Oh no, Rita, don't come over here, sweetie. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a T-post in the water right there. And each notch on that T-post is one inch. And so I can look over there and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can count nine inches to the top. Now, when I put that T-post in, in the ground, I drove it right to where the water should be when it's full. And we did that last year when we had rented that pump. And we filled the water, you know, our pond to capacity. And I drove that T-post and I put the top of it right at the, uh, the top of the water so I could keep an eye on it and see. And right now we're nine inches low, so. So we've returned the uh, tractor and the side-by-side. -side. We've locked those keys up. Everything's fine there. We moved the feed buggy out. We're gonna give the cows a 24 hour uh, with no grains. We uh, took it in for them last night. We watched them eat on it while we were here. I left it inside there for at least 12 hours. Today, you've already seen that they're up and about. They're down in the far corner now but uh, they're, they're doing their job, y'all. As long as they're doing their... As long as they're doing their job, I think we're okay.
right, so this alligator has been sitting around for the last 30 minutes or so, just kind of watching the cows do their thing. He doesn't see the cows as a threat. I'll let you watch here as he's sitting there watching Dolly. She's watching him. But uh, listen, I, um, I don't feel comfortable leaving the alligator in the pond. Now there's gonna be a lot of folks who are gonna have a difference of opinion on that. So I will attempt to fish him out of here. And then if I can get him out, he will be relocated. Hi, sweetie. But uh, this is our alligator right over here. It's gonna be hard for you all to see. Oh gosh, Ruby. But ouch, Ruby, that's my back, sweetie. But uh, you can see if you watch, we'll go under here just a second. Waylon's going into the water. Guys, there's not a risk of him grabbing one of the cows and hurting the cows. My biggest worry is him grabbing one of the dogs. That is, uh, grabbing one of the dogs is absolutely my biggest worry. And, uh, sweetie, Danny, Ruby, yeah, because the dogs enjoy taking swims out in the water, you know. And um, we just don't want to see one of the dogs grabbed. I will also say the uh, it's going to be hard to get a good, if, well, I'm not going to talk about how I'm going to get them out of there. I'll just kind of ignore that for now and we'll... That's one of those kind of things I'll be happy to talk about for those who want to talk about it, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to share too much information if I don't have to. The internet's a really mean place right now, and I think that I can probably avoid a whole lot by just not talking about it. <laughs> Which is what an attorney, if I had a, a, if I had an attorney to hang around with me, he'd probably say, don't talk. Uh, you might want to stop doing that, Stella. That's going to get you in trouble. Forget alligators. You can get hurt by her. She's going to hurt you a lot worse than an alligator can. Mm -hmm, that horn will hurt you a whole lot worse, sweetie. I'm sorry, Reba. He didn't mean it. Oh, she didn't mean it. She didn't mean it, Reba. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. She does not mean it. Y'all can all be sweet to her. She did not mean it. Uh, Charlene, Charlene, can you just be nice to her? Charlene, why are you doing that? Charlene, there ain't no reason in all that. Charlene. Charlene, I'm going to throw you in that water with the alligator. You watch. See if I don't do it. See if I don't show you. Oh, my gosh. Where's, oh, look out, Charlene. Charlene messed with the wrong bait. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Where are you going? Help. <laughs> Where did you come from, sweetie? Move, Stella. Stella, move. Oh my gosh, everybody. This is horrible. Oh no, what's going on over here? Tax, be sweet, everybody. Guys, they all got the devil in them. Everyone got the devil in them. They all got the devil in them. Oh my gosh. Why has everyone got the devil in them today? What's going on? What's happening here? They all got, oh my Lord. That alligator might want to just go move somewhere else, y'all. Let's just, let's be honest for a minute. That alligator, who we all see as a, as a villain, seriously. Who's the real villain here, y'all? Who's the real villain and who's the victim here? Many of y'all are going to say, you know what, Let's. you're right. That alligator is a darn victim. Uh, anyone who has to live in a pasture with these, with these, guys and girls is the is the victim that alligator poor alligator he doesn't know what he's doing does he that gator does not know what he's doing and he doesn't know where he's at he might don't let your troubles fester come watch longhorn lester <laughs> yeah Something like that.